Welcome to the Restoration Sciences Academy Test Labs. My name is Brandon Burton, Technical Education Manager for RSA. Today I'm excited to bring you the results of our recent testing on air mover technologies. The objective of the test was to understand and evaluate the different rates of drying achieved by different air movement technologies. The technologies tested in this particular program were the centrifugal blower air mover known as the Sahara Pro X3, the axial air mover known as the Jet CXV, another axial air mover known as the ACE, and another technology called a thrust fan. It is assumed that centrifugal blowers generate a higher rate of airflow velocity for the amount of power consumed than most other air moving technologies. It is also assumed that axial fans generate a greater volume of air and therefore more coverage, in fact the most coverage for the amount of power consumed. One of the questions that needed to be understood and realized in the testing was how does thrust fan technology compare to these two existing technologies in our industry today? The procedure used to test the air moving technologies was to evenly and consistently wet a fixed carpet sample. Air was then moved immediately across the wet surface. With each air moving technology, a thermal imaging camera was used to evaluate the evaporative cooling footprint that occurred as air was moved across the surface. The results of the testing are displayed next. In the thermal imaging time lapse sequence that you are about to see, one image was taken every 10 seconds. A total of a five minute duration of elapsed time was allowed before the test was concluded. Here in the first set of thermal images, just 10 seconds into the process for each air mover, the evaporative cooling footprint becomes very visible. Highlighted here, you can see that the area immediately in front of each air mover is by far yielding the greatest rate of evaporation. This is evidenced by the cool temperatures directly in front of the air movers. As evaporation does occur, energy is leaving the surface with that water, leaving behind a much cooler temperature. The Sahara Pro X3 yielded a very straight and true evaporation footprint. You can see by the red lines indicated on the image in the upper left hand corner of the Sahara Pro that the evaporative cooling is happening over a good distance and is very centered on the flooring surface. The thrust fan technology utilizes a blower wheel that is mounted horizontally with the flooring surface. This horizontal orientation of the blower wheel is throwing the air movement to the left hand side of the image. You can also see that the orientation of this blower is not generating as much movement of air across the wet surface. The evaporative cooling footprint, in other words, does not move as far along the wet surface. Highlighted here at the bottom of your screen are the axial air mover technologies. The axial air movers very clearly are generating the most evaporative cooling over the greatest surface area. Although the evaporation rate does not appear to be as quick as the Sahara Pro X3 or centrifugal blower, the footprint is definitely the largest of the technologies tested. Next, let's allow the clock to advance from 20 seconds to 2 minutes. As the time lapse occurs, observe the changes in the airflow pattern and the bright orange appearance that begins to form directly in front of each one of the air movers. At two minutes in time, here we can see a very bright orange pattern that is beginning to form in front of each one of the air movers. The bright orange area is an area where evaporative cooling is no longer occurring. The temperature has gone from a cool or blue color to a bright orange or warm color. The bright orange color indicates that there is no longer water available for evaporation. In other words, this area directly in front of each one of the air movers has completely dried. Notice that the drying pattern between the different air mover technologies is different. The drying in front of the centrifugal air mover or Sahara Pro X3 has the deepest penetration down the floor, while the drying pattern in front of the Jet CXV or axial air mover covers the largest area of the four air mover technologies. Again, let us advance several slides forward in the time lapse. As we do, pay special attention once again to the bright orange areas in front of each air mover. We will conclude at exactly five minutes. Here at the end of the five minute test period, we can again see that the greatest distance of evaporation has been achieved by the Sahara Pro X3, while the greatest overall footprint of evaporation was achieved by the Jet 
CXV axial air mover. The conclusions from this testing include that the centrifugal blower does indeed generate the greatest rate of evaporation over the greatest overall distance. This is true in large part to the amount of velocity created by the centrifugal blower. On the other hand, axial air moving technologies generate the greatest overall footprint of evaporation, especially when the amount of power consumed is concerned. The axial air moving technology tested drew between 1.5 and 3 amps of total power. The centrifugal blower drew a total of 4 amps of power, while the thrust fan drew 1.6 amps of actual power consumption. Axial air movers therefore generated the largest footprint for the lowest net power consumption, while again the centrifugal blower generated the greatest rate of evaporation over the greatest overall distance. Next I would like to discuss the testing procedures utilized during the air mover technology testing. Please note that a full report and white paper is available at www.RestorationSciencesAcademy.com. Variables were controlled to ensure consistency in testing, including the exact placement of each air mover to begin each test cycle. To validate the consistency in the testing process, more than 30 total tests were run throughout the program. Consistency was carried straight through to the equipment that was used during the testing process. Wetting of the 12 by 24 nylon carpet flooring was done with a motorized gantry system. This motorized system had fixed misting apparatuses that applied a very even and consistent amount of moisture to the floor. The thermal imaging itself was obtained using a FLIR T300 thermal imaging camera from a fixed viewpoint and position throughout the entire process. Here you can see the entire test floor setup. At the top of the image, you can see the fixed misting systems that were used to wet the 12 foot by 24 foot, 24 ounce nylon cut pile carpet. The misting systems were mounted on a mobile speed controlled gantry system. Even the drying apparatuses shown on the very bottom of your screen used between tests were from a fixed air mover position. This ensured that the thermal footprint at the beginning of every test was also consistent. Finally, you can also see from this viewpoint where the thermal imaging camera was mounted 22 feet from a fixed position above the floor. Looking through the eye of the thermal imaging camera, you can see the consistency with which the nylon cut pile carpet had been wetted. You can also see again from the top of the 22 foot perch where the thermal imaging camera was mounted. The fixed camera location was critical, as the images themselves were the data being used to analyze the difference in evaporation. To ensure that these images could be compared side by side, it was critical that the camera be used in the exact same location for every single one of the images that was taken. As you can see, the entire testing process was controlled from every aspect and component possible to ensure that we fully understood the benefit of each air moving technology, its ability, its strengths, and its weaknesses. We ensured that the testing was repeated over multiple times, the wetting process was specifically controlled, and that the results were all taken from the same exact viewpoint. Understanding the ability for each air moving technology to properly and effectively assist in the drying process is critical to the restoration contractor's needs to ensure that they are delivering efficient and effective drying practices. Here at Restoration Sciences Academy and our testing labs, we are committed to ensuring that we understand all of the science related to water damage restoration, to fire damage restoration, mold remediation, and carpet cleaning. Over the course of the next several months, additional tests will be run. In April and May, we will understand air movement strategies related to carpet drying. Subsurface versus surface drying, in other words, should you float or should you not float, we will measure actual water removal by weight to find the answer. Currently underway and under progress is a wood floor drying test. You can view it live at www.RestorationSciencesAcademy.com where we're utilizing HydroTrack data and a live webcam to bring you the test results as they happen. Restoration Sciences Academy, science that works. Thank you again for joining us today. My name is Brandon Burton, the Technical Education Manager for Restoration Sciences Academy. We'll see you next time.